Nobody wants a war. <laughs> if we can't do business, why, we'll just shake hands and that'll be it. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a live one here. <laughs> 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 oh, there'll be a hot time in the old town tonight. <laughs> <laughs> about this Batman and Bob. Remember, you are my number one guy. Yes, sir. Hello, Vinny. It's your Uncle Bingo. Time to pay the check. There was a conversation about who should play the Joker. And there were ads with Batman. There were not names, you know, Robin Williams, other every, So many actors wanted to be the Joker that everyone had to be dealt with appropriately. Jack Nicholson as the Joker, I mean, it's like you don't even have to be a casting director. Nobody even have to say anything. I mean, that was just everybody's first choice because he is the Joker. I mean, there's just no question about it. The fear is almost more like um, he's almost too perfect, but I mean, he's so great that he even transcends that. You know, he even goes beyond your expectations just because he's so good. We had known Jack Nicholson for a while and the idea was, would Jack play a role like that? This is not the kind of film Jack Nicholson played in. You know, this is the guy from The Last Detail and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. We're talking about a force of nature, an acting force of nature. Jack was never one to just work with a director. There was no one, no actor alive who respects a filmmaker more once he decides to do it. But he has to decide to do it. So Tim had to convince Jack that he was right. And I remember we went up to Aspen and Jack says, let's go riding. He's gonna, he's gonna meet Tim Burton. And Tim says, I don't ride. And I said to him, you do today, you know? And there's a picture of him on the horse with, with, <laughs> with Jack. And Jack's a good rider, a really good rider. And, and Tim Burton looks like he discovered God on that horse. I, I, I was t terrified. And it's like, there is, I'm out with Peter Goober and, and Jack Nicholson on horseback, you know, up in, in Aspen, I'm going, I didn't realize this was, you know, horseback riding was part of my job description, but uh, it was, uh, sur you know, it was a surreal moment. He was not a happy camper, but he did it, and Jack committed to the project. I don't know because of the horse riding, but, but I think that uh, they, they had a good bonding there, and that moved the project yet further ahead. Once, you know, so somebody like him gets involved, it just raises the bar of everything else, uh, uh, and... Uh, just creates a buzz about it and an excitement that, that just permeates everything, really. I was afraid because of my feel of the television series and the way movies tend to be done and talked about, I didn't want this to go through the normal, let's brighten it up for the kids, you know what I mean? I thought this was a, a very strong, in every way, transitional movie about the genre and really why they wanted me in there. You know, in other words, on a superficial level at that moment, it gave it, oh, this is not just another cartoon movie. 